Welcome back. Thank you for Hi. joining us Hi. here at Dreadlords the Red Rit. The Red uh, special thanks hey. to our cast, uh, Bill, Hi. Andrea, Daniel, Drizzle, and Ken. Uh, thanks for the score, all the lowercase letters, Mr. Interrupt. Thank you uh, to our Patreon members, Tim Roberts, Daniel Holtzker, and Nostalgic. Thank you, Couchfire Media, for the art and media production. And thank you, uh, Twa Rible Productions, for all of the stuff that you have done to create this Dread Lores, The Red Writ. The Red uh, Welcome Red back Red. as we start part two of episode 18. Two. Part two. Do means do in French. <clears throat> you know how you say two in Canadian? Two in Canadian? Uh-huh. Two. Two, eh? No. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> toonie. Toonie, eh? It's a money. The loony in the toonie. Their money's so crazy. <laughs> oh. Come on, Canada. Canada, oh Canada. I see that we've now cool. broken out the uh, Arbiter is now <laughs> drinking bourbon mixed with ginger. Hey, now. Mixed with lemon. Yeah. A um, um, little lemon. The lemon does pretty. make it nice. Yeah, the lemon's good. Uh, the lady brought over actually all the stuff, and I was like, we can make drinks. We did. Nice. And now I'm continuing the party. The party continues. So, uh, before we jump into this scene, or this uh, encounter, if I will, if if we will, we have a, we have a couple decisions. You guys have five minutes before midnight, which you know, maybe something will happen. From what you've been led to believe that something's going to happen. Um. Why don't you guys have a little bit of player talk for just a couple of minutes to kind of figure out player wise, story wise, where you all want to go and how you're going to get there? Go to their fourth. Simon. Yeah. So I guess my straight question would be where do you guys, do you guys think Leah should come down and join the rest of the crew or do you think she could go off and try and find something up in the club? Well, because. Uh, when we had talked last, uh, I Simon had told you to try and throw the power off or pull a fire alarm to disrupt the goings Got on. Uh, and I, I was like, and have Tony help you, but then Tony ran away. <laughs> yeah, I think I thought Leah was supposed to uh, make a good amount of ruckus and and stop the concert for happen because i'm pretty sure noid nor noid uh <laughs> thought that this was all going to like uh, levi was going to to brainwash everybody into becoming uh a drone of of lady callie the unwilling or the willing i don't know <laughs> uh willing or unwilling that they would participate in her uh insanity But you do know that after that, we were supposed to head towards Bell, Bell Island. So well, I don't, I mean, I feel like, you know, one thing at a time, I think. Well, no, no. I'm just saying that like for once you get it stopped, like we, we have a meetup point basically. Sure. So it's. And, and was that tonight? I mean, the blue hand group dude, like didn't say that that was tonight. He said that. You know, if we survive this, maybe we can have a little rest and relaxation. Maybe, maybe go on a tour about uh, Detroit. I, know, see, I, I, see don't, all the... I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> see all the, the sites connect yeah. into the, the Detroit. Uh, they said that lions. the town is supposed to be messed up from midnight to 6 a.m. 
Sure. I mean, so, catch a catch a football game <laughs> with the, the Detroit Lions. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? No, I lost money on them this past weekend. So that's oh. <laughs> Not going to lie, before you said that, I would have not even hazarded a guess as to what the Detroit team was. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing well. Uh, they did not do well in 1982. So you losing money on the Detroit Lions is uh, it sounds sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wouldn't think, uh... lose any money like betting on that team this year, 1982. Bad idea. Uh, um, Remember Tony? Uh, What's up, Tony? Come out of here, wherever we are. It's going to be a for the four of us figuring out where we are as opposed to where Bell Island and stuff is. Sure. I think where we, we are. I think we need you to know where we are. are? I'll tell you where we are. We're at a place where a couple people went down and they didn't get last rights. Quite frankly, I, I, I'm at this point, I don't think they deserve them. They did stab you. It looks like we should probably maybe give you a little bit of um, first aid, Tony. You, you do look a little bleedy. I think I need second and third aid at, at that. <laughs> yeah. We just um, gotta get a place where we can stop first. Sure. If if uh if things get really bad, Tony, I'm not sure. But I might have a book for you to read, but just just wait for that. We'll just wait for that moment. Um But that's only if things get bad. You know, otherwise just forget. Just forget what, what, that I said anything. But maybe, maybe find me. If like everything looks like end of the world is going on in a days, I might have a couple of passages for you to read the book. Oh, guess what? I found you. It's the end of the world. Look around. Leaves are brown, and the sky is a hazy shade of winter. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well played. Um, yeah, I think hopefully if, if we are having any luck, uh, Mariah is doing what Mariah does, or Leah is doing what Leah does, which is, uh, mayhem. And she's broken up the party and, uh, we can all just go home and, and, uh, maybe go to sleep for the first time in a, in a couple of days. Unless we have people waiting for us. I think Leah said something that they're waiting for us like we were anticipated. But I don't know. Maybe not. Lady Callie said that she um, and that we were on the invite list for this thing. So uh, I don't know what that means. Us. She's expecting us. Are we gonna we still gonna meet Lady Kelly? I hope not. I mean, it didn't work out for me last time I met. Her. And I'm not gonna like she looks old, and she looks fragile. But for real, I'm afraid of this woman. No, we know she can't take a hit. I don't know. The what what the blue hand group said is disturbing as well it, she they seem to think that we don't really have a shot well we're doing better than they expect they also didn't expect us to take out two of their own sure i i do feel a little bad for sicking those guys on on the party goers but i don't know black sex uh... magic that side like was it, the, it could be a bad thing I don't know <laughs> well in all fairness that scythe I think was the only thing keeping them from going into the hideaway so 
if Leah doesn't stop what's going on, they may end up causing a panic in there as well. Do you have another scythe? No. <laughs> I bet that's the that last one. Those things that ran. I doubt we'll see them again tonight. But I don't know. I don't know anything. All I know is we need to get upstairs and I think we should cover our ears and yell and, and disrupt the performance. Uh, we can't get back upstairs. We have this rubble. We'd have to go through the sex bloodbath. Uh, we oh, well, maybe to... this tunnel will lead us that way, though. No, this tunnel's leading us to Bell Island, to the river. I... Not a hundred percent sure of that. Well, it's it's heading that way. We're we're not under the hideaway anymore. Well, hopefully, Lee is successful then, and you know, Godspeed to her. Yeah, hopefully, she'll get it stopped. No pressure. <laughs> well, Tony, you <laughs> said gonna... you said that you stopped. She stopped it, right? She stopped it. Yeah, you said that you she killed them, and that she went to go do something else, and you came down here. Yeah, she killed them. I assume she's probably gonna go kill more. And then I went that went I went down here, mainly so. Uh, Mariah wouldn't be stuck with uh, her mother. Hey. So she she did stop the music and stuff up there? Uh, she Mariah. stopped me from dying. Mariah looks around. No, the music was still going on. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it was uh, probably one of them disco tunes that they people... It's all the rage these days. It wasn't disco. Well, then what was it? I think it was reggae. I think reggae? It was jazz. Yeah. Jazz? What's that? <clears throat> I wonder if Bob Marley's down there. At this rate, he, who knows? Uh, so you left her up there to stop it all by herself? I didn't need yeah, her up there to stop it. Yeah, why'd you do that, Tony? Do you think we should turn around? I don't think we can get through the we'd have to go through that group of people again. Wait, 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 you're saying we my mom's alone? We would have to come out and go up topside. Are there any offshoots? Get back there. Of the hallway? Is there a way up? <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to look. We'll have to look as we get head along. You are in a sewer, um, so every so often there's a, a, a manhole. Well, let's let's exit stage manhole. I agree. Although we should be careful, we should probably peek up and make sure we're not on a road. I, I mean, I don't know a lot about a lot of things, but I I think I know enough that we should probably get like some shots like tetanus shots and, and maybe a bunch of other shots to like make sure that we don't get sick from all of the all of the viruses and diseases down here in the sewer. This is pretty gross. That's a really good idea. And I probably need to go to the hospital to make sure uh, my stab wounds don't go septic because yeah, I'm in a septic tank, more or less. He got, yeah. he got stabbed a lot by... A really creepy looking chef guy. Yeah, and it it's it's uh it's rather difficult to walk. Well, can you climb a ladder to get out of one of these manholes? Uh not really, but I will. <coughs> uh, uh, well let's Tony... get you up there and we'll check your I'll check your wounds when we get topside. Tony... Describe uh, what would Simon and Nord see when they looked at your body. 
Oh, and while he's doing that, would you turn on your mic? Uh, Will? My microphone is on. They is would see... Tap on. Uh, they would see a uniform that with, with a lot of blood. <clears throat> it, it, wait. Wait, you can hear me? We're getting the mic from your laptop, not that microphone. Oh. Sorry. Continue. The rest of the party would see a lot. Would, would see uh, maybe not 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 work uniform, but uh, his clothes that are that are clearly filled with blood. They're, they're just kind of soaked at this point. How does that sound? Yeah. Better. <laughs> Good. That's. Did it just happen explained. out of nowhere? No, it's been like that, but we didn't realize it until. Just. Well, it's you sounded different, but I didn't realize. That's hilarious. That that's what it was. I uh, wasn't paying attention until. Just... <laughs> so could I you hear it... like? The... Go on, sorry. Go on. I think it was your typing. Because we normally can't hear you typing, but we oh, can hear yeah, you typing. Yeah. Absolutely, tell me. Be like, hey, yeah. fuck well, that's off. what. The, but you didn't really start typing until we came back from the break. Yeah, right? I didn't hear any typing until. Yeah. It would also be nice if we could hear people clicking, clicking like and subscribe, <laughs> and share. Tell tell your family about the wonderful production value of Dragon yeah. Artist. Well, we we right? had we had like a thing. Where we weren't gonna we weren't gonna drop the like subscribe share thing. We we're gonna do something else that was yeah. That was we were better. gonna talk about how we're trying to raise funds or something through our Patreon. Do it anyways. Like, no, no, it was it was something else that was actually useful to to people listening. And I can't remember. We were drunk and we, we had great ideas. Yeah, I mean that's the magic of drugs and alcohol. I mean not to say I mean I don't think I've ever seen anybody do drugs around here, but certainly alcohol. This um, is a very special episode. Right? <laughs> we have a lesson to learn here. Yeah. <laughs> this is the meta gaming episode. Did you get it from that kid on the schoolyard? <laughs> I know you did. You can tell us the truth. The first one was free, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. Uh, very uh, good. The first two were free, then you're addicted. See, that's the trick. <laughs> oh, Very good <laughs> on all of you. Very good campfire scene to evoke uh, my buddy Jeff McDeal's nomenclature it's part of one of his games uh campfire scenes game called levied souls which will hopefully come out at some point anyway this was during the montage in dreadlore so we're gonna say because that was so good and you guys seamlessly went from an out of game thing into in game in characters boom new scene nice we get our trace i was so uh what we call was Straight fucked. Yeah. I was I was that's, straight fucked. That's a very dreadful term. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely straight fucked. I was straight fucked and uh, shit. All right. So yeah, new scene, which is good. Uh yeah. <clears throat> If you have a wound or a sanity uh, damage, you can recover one of those. Uh, so that applies to probably Tony, maybe Leah. Yeah, Leah. Yeah. And do, do we get one breath and one cunning back? No. Oh, no, no, you that's, get that's no cunning, no okay. breath. That's only for goals. Okay. Um, but did if we anyone... had advancements... Uh, yes, we can. We can. Yep, because down. we just did a montage. You can do advancements. Um, I got a minor goal because my minor goal was to get out of the hideaway. Nice. So that means you get a cunning, and a breath back, and a pip, and one XP. Uh, and mm. Holker, could you mark that down? And ha what party uh, goals are we at? We are currently at 23 party goals. Ooh, did anyone else get a goal? No. Yeah, I kind of screwed myself over on the uh, the minor goals like three sessions ago. 
Because I wanted my, my minor goal I set as kill Loretta because, you know, it seemed kind of imminent that I was going to be able to kill her. And uh -huh. that is not how it has gone. So. Yep. <laughs> so you can change that. <clears throat> I was I expecting that's still to pretty Levi cool. at some point. Maybe still will. <clears throat> no one else has gotten a goal? All right. Um, take a little bit of time. Think about your minor goals. Remember, that's one or two sessions. Major goal is three to five sessions. Uh, Leah, in the event that you're dead set on killing Loretta, I would mark that up at a major goal. Okay. Because um, you've definitely spent the time to do it. I'm not saying it's... It is possible to do. Um, it's actually very possible to do. But it just depends on your decisions. Gotcha. Okay. I and... Did I'm going to drop a load, too, but I haven't come up with what trait. <laughs> I love it. Um, uh, what are your guys' minor goals right now? To me. Oh, I just changed mine right. to stop the music. Okay. That's definitely possible. Nord I have a minor goal, but I'm not sure I want to reveal it. Cause, uh... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Meet Levi. <laughs> Stop okay, meet Levi. Levi. Um, <laughs> you can <laughs> achieve that. You can achieve that. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying, uh, Tony? Is it to gain I, 10 subscribers? I know. That should be a major goal. No, I have another one. Uh, I, I don't want to reveal it because it might... I don't want... I don't, yeah, don't want to reveal it. it. Don't reveal okay. it. Okay. I'll send um, you a message. Yeah, send it to me. Um, speaking of, uh, we got a new subscriber on YouTube, which is pretty sweet. So Ooh. that is accolades to Mr. DJ Nofly in his shorts. We went up one. Um, hey, Simon, minor goals? Uh, I don't know because I just did mine. So I'm okay. trying to think of something. What about major goals? Simon. Uh, oh, I'm to stop the ritual. Okay. Uh, Leah? Mine is to kill Loretta. Major goal, cool. Uh, Nord? Defeat Lady Callie. It doesn't have to be like kill. It just, if there's a thing that Lady Callie's doing, and if I stop her from doing it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that's pretty immediate, but the thing is, is you're spending sessions doing it, so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah it's that's been a good probably, that's a, it's that's been a good that, that for about four or five sessions. Yeah, yeah, Ever since yeah that's that's worth gave it. Gave me a derangement. That's worth it. Because you have a vendetta for. Her. I do. Uh, Tony, uh, can you say that one? So my major goal was to convince a skeptic that the supernatural is real. However, I would like to come up with a new one. I just don't have one right now. Yep. You could do that in the next while while we rejoin the montage. You could you could try and convince Simon. He's, he's yeah, I, I, yeah. I was gonna say, um, <laughs> major goal actually is potentially possible at this point with Simon, but who knows? Who knows? All right, very good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get into it. Uh, Holker, I know you have about an hour left. Um, so, and remember, just before we actually get into it, uh, after hours is no longer after the game. Uh, after hours is now a separate podcast we're doing on Thursdays, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard. Sometimes this is to the viewership. Sometimes you'll have cast members on. Cast members always have a seat on the podcast. It'll almost always be, uh, Ken and myself. And we're looking for guests to jump on if you're into gaming um, or, or genres and film and storytelling. We are absolutely looking for you. Uh, so contact us on Instagram or wherever, and we would we're, love to have you on. We're definitely trying to get other gamers to join as yep. well. So if, if you're a gamer and you want to talk some, some whatever game that you're into... Um, Please, please join. And, uh... Or if you're new to gaming and you're just like, hey, this is something I'm interested in. Um, now, could... clarification, is this, is this including like video games as well? or? Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay. So the after hours on Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern, it is a geeky gamer podcast. Of course, we're going to talk about our game and Dreadlore and all that stuff because Dreadlore is the greatest game in the world. But uh, it, 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 is, it is a separate podcast. <clears throat> okay. Dot, dot, dot. Any other maintenance? And then we're going to get into it. Great. Awesome. I should always use negative questions instead of positive questions. So, does anyone not have anything else to say? Um, um, I think Tony always has a little bit more to say. I mean, not, not Tony. Well, I think Tony does always have a little bit more to say. Is anyone <laughs> finished? <laughs> say, say, I'm finished if you're finished and ready to do it. I'm finished and ready to do it. Right. Simon, are we are we going are we going back to the club? Is this what's happening? This is this is this is uh, uh, just. It was your right. idea. I mean, I just want to verify. I want to confirm. I'm gonna go back and aid Leah and potentially stop her from shooting everyone, because I didn't know we were leaving. I just, I just think we should. We should. May get a point. I'm not sure yeah, I want to stop her from mom. shooting everyone. Well, we were following the tunnels to see where they led. I was yeah. assuming that they were leading to Bell Island. Well, well, I we thought we were chasing. Everyone. We we were chasing after after that that uh, the colonel or the colonial uh, the commandant the yeah. commandant. Yeah, well, and and that was just a wild goose chase. So, I. I don't think we're ready to go to Belle Isle. I think we need to get back to the club and make sure it's not a bloodbath. I don't know. That's, I'm that's worried tough. about that. I've, I've already created one bloodbath tonight. I'm not going to do two. Well, it could get worse because if they make it upstairs. Well, you gave away our only ability to stop them. To as as save... Well, no, to save our lives. And also, yeah. it did, as I was leaving, he said that he was now my friend. So oh, True. We, we did make an ally. Maybe he'll join yeah. us. Sometime. Mariah pipes up. <clears throat> also, everyone gets a pip. Very good segue into actual gameplay. Mariah pipes up. Hey... I mean, who were those guys? They, like, who lives in a sewer? Uh, sometimes vampires. Vampires. Sometimes life gets rough and people lose their homes and have to live in the sewers. It happens all the time. I'm she looks up at you. Yeah. I think these people had a different turn of events that led them there. <laughs> Nobody wants to drink my blood. I mean... Like seriously, like um, it's it's possible that my blood is is no good. Yeah, Drinking that blood. That one guy who got it probably yeah, is no, he got stuff it. now. Well, he's got crabs too now. <laughs> if if one of you wants to drop a narrative point, he can have all kinds of visions. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, yeah, no, I I'll, I'll drop a narrative point uh, to to like if that guy touched my blood, I'm sure he is high as a kite. <laughs> uh, Nostalgic will know this uh, so in World of Darkness if you are a vampire and you drink the blood of particular beasts or whatever um, someone who's high or whatever you do get uh, a different different take on things interesting narrative thing uh, Nostalgic if you're listening um, I'm going to throw this to you the Nord is dropping a narrative point he's high on opium usually a creature vampire a just game. drank his blood you tell us what is the result of that uh, Nord has visions and all kinds of stuff you can make this hilarious you can make it give them something as players it's up to you it is an ad break in this moment it's fine uh, she is a subscriber so she has ah. no ads nice one of the magic reasons for subscribe subscribing on twitch so Here's the cost as we go into the dread. 
if you all go back to the blue note, you will arrive one minute before midnight because it'll take you some time to get there. If you go the way you came, you'll have, we'll just, you'll have, I don't want to say three minutes because it's not going to make sense. You'll have at least a round or two before midnight. So if you just go up, if you go the safe way, right, up the manhole, you arrive, essentially there's a round, and boom, it's midnight. So that's the cost. Time. If you go back the dangerous way, or the way you don't know, you'll have at least, we'll say, two rounds, which is quite a bit of actions. So it's up to you. Easy way, you lose time. Hard way, you just have to be a little bit clever, a little a little bit more clever about it, how you can do it. Yeah. So it's on we, you, what do you do? And then we're going to go to Leah. What if we bid uh, something to go the harder way, but to go faster? Yeah, all of that, it just requires your creativity. All right. Well, I, I will bid. Easy way is you just get there. Hard way is you have to be creative and convince me that whatever. I, 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 I'm going to tell Simon, Simon, I think we need to go. Like, this is happening right now. We got to run. Um, I don't think we need to take people through that situation. Well, maybe Tony, uh, what about Tony and Mariah? Why don't you guys, the three of you guys go, and I'm going to run and stop this. Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna we push can't my way split through. up again, Mariah <laughs> says. Uh, I am worried about your mom, Mariah. He's, yeah, going, he's going to help her. I've, I've, I've killed enough people today already. I, I don't know how innocent they were, but, you know, may, maybe they I can weren't. Uh, and in that moment, I'll bid um, <laughs> Ranger and... Uh, and the Cinta Colors... Uh, to try to get back to as you see Nord you guys uh, see him belly crawl back through the tunnel uh, talking as he goes conversationally as his voice trails off (laughs) Uh, Simon, Tony, what are you doing (laughs) while Mariah's like hands out, palm up, supine like what's going on Simon I can't go back there I got stab wounds. I'm not climbing to, climbing to that again. And I trust you to take Mariah up through the sewers the safe way. Can you make it with her? Or do I need to go with you? Do you mean can I trust? Can you trust him? What? Do you mean that you can trust me with him? Do you see any stab wounds? Oh no! I know I can trust you. I'll get in there. Right. As she grabs your hand and starts going towards the ladder, Tony. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. So, so look, I don't have a choice. We're gonna chill out somewhere up there. We'll be around there. <clears throat> Hopefully, we're going to the blue note. That's where we're going. We're just going away from those things. Yeah, yeah. Sure, let's do that. She kind of like squints her eyes at you, and points. She seems very much like Leah in this moment. I don't want no weird stuff. You don't want no weird stuff. Listen. I don't want no weird <laughs> stuff as much as you. I'm being honest. You're not reading shit. Maybe I like that weird <laughs> stuff. But she, there's she no books around. Ignored. There's no books uh, anywhere. Here's a question. Do you guys want to bid Mariah to ensure something or do something um, uh, that can aid Tony in whatever he's trying to do is what I'm trying to say. I think so. Yeah. All right. What do you want to bid her to do? Um, this is for all of you to talk. Hey, explosions. Uh, protect Tony. Uh, no, make sure Tony gets there. <laughs> I'm going to bid. Uh, yeah. I mean, like to make sure he gets there, but like. 
Yeah, that's a good word to put it. All right. <clears throat> uh, I need a majority. So Tony and or Simon, no, do you I'm... agree to bid? Yeah, I agree. All yeah. right. So you have three bids from Mariah. You've used one, um, which is good. As she starts ascending this ladder and waiting on you, Tony, to get you out of there. Out the manhole. And I will then, follow. Uh, I'll follow her up. And it's I got to go a little slow because at this point, one hand is on my ribs. Yep. Uh, so I, I kind of waddle up there. Eventually, I get up there, but it's tough because I got stabbed. Simon, uh, what about you as you see this happening? I'm going to bid power through and follow after Nord. Okay. Uh, this scene is very quick. As Nord, you've scuttlebutted through. You hear Simon talking to Tony and Mariah as he's already moving behind you. You can tell he's right behind you. Question is, Nord, do you wait on him or are you just going to run out in front of him? I'm just gonna go. I, okay. I am. You start hauling. I've let. I. I I'm. I've let my uh, senses go. Like I am purely, you know. I a probably dribble. have some kind of. I take take the last little bump of coke that I got and. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you hit some cocaine. That I mean, some of that cocaine. Cocaine. Um, I, I, I'm. Kukani. If I had the report, I would probably hit that. <laughs> it's a very Popeye the Sailor Man moment. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but yeah, right. It's like it's like a, it's like a, he, he was searching around for his spinach in his pocket, and he like yep. shakes it up. <laughs> so just just to be just to be the dickhead that I am, roll a chaos die. And let's see if you have a heart attack. All right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that eye roll? <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I'm gonna uh -oh. spend. Oh. <laughs> Every so often, sir, the bar eats you. <laughs> uh, Listen, this is for the kids that are definitely watching our show. Yeah, Don't do no, cocaine. Yeah, no. If, if if I was out of proficiencies, I if I, we didn't have a new scene, I I would be dead. Don't hey, listen to that kid on the schoolyard. You just be hurting. <clears throat> Hurt bad. Uh. Nord. My arm would be in pain. <laughs> That's right. The uh, hangover. Yeah, it, it it would be okay. it would be the slow roll on this. Nord, I I would actually just deal with your wounds is what I would do mechanically. Um, you hit the bump, and there's a moment you've probably neared it before, where you realize, oh, hmm. I'm getting there. Yeah. As you feel like an anime character you feel great but mortal there's that little hiccup where like you start your engine and it's like ha 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 as you take off do, do, do. with this hit of cocaine you blast past uh Corthon and Bartholomew uh before they even look <laughs> just a flash of Nord Simon you pop on the other side you see Nord tear ass like like Hussein Bolt <laughs> gone dust <laughs> uh, Tony you get to the top and um, Mariah's up there and she goes eh, eh, can you help me with this Help you with what? This heavy circle. Manhole. Yeah. She looks down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'll, I'll try and see what I can do. And I'll I'll attempt to push it back. It hurts. What do you bid? I will bid. I'll bid hardened. As you grit... Uh, your teeth and yeah. heave this manhole up. Cling, ling, 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 ling. 
Uh, Leah, roll me high or low. Or I'm sorry, roll me a d12. Tony, tell me high or low. Uh, nostalgic said on the Bartholomew drug filled front that he feels like he made a mistake. He bumped the H instead of the C, having a Mina moment. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that high. means. Pulp Fiction. <laughs> yeah. But lucky you, for you, you, it was indeed a high. It was a high. As you find yourself in a park. All right. We got to get to the Blue Note Jazz. As she comes in, uh, comes up behind you, as you guys start on that way, you get about, you get out of the park. It has like a hill and, you know, imagine any movie where there's a funeral scene. It looks like that. There's like the hill, the trees, a little path, a bench. Um, you get out of the park and there's like corner store and a few different things. As you're walking towards the blue note, you can see it out ahead about a block away. Mariah grabs your hand and says, no, we're first going to treat you. And she drags you since you rolled high or called high. You see a big uh, porter, porter, uh, mortar and pistol. There's like an RX store. Yep. Let's, we walk in. All right. <clears throat> Nord, you're tearing ass uh, with the bump. You bust through. You pass the creatures. <laughs> you feel your heart. <laughs> Simon, action's on you. Uh, I'm going that way, but I'm, I, I, I bid power through. So I'm not going as fast as Nord is, but I'm going. No I'm one going can go to... as fast as Nord is. <laughs> yeah, but I'm I'm trying to go fast as well. Uh, I will come through and be like, well, I didn't expect to see you this soon as I pass by <laughs> Corinth and... Bidding uh, power through, yeah. the two creatures look up. Uh, Bartholomew is done. Uh, Corthan is still looking after Nord as he kind of like sees you. He's confused at how fast that human just ran. Nord, yeah. as per Nostalgic's narrative point, there is a moment. <laughs> oh, well, no, it wasn't a narrative. It, it was, uh, no, that's what she's saying Bartholomew feels like mm. after having drinking Nord's blood. Oh, I see. Indeed. Yeah. Which... Which is probably Nord. a narrative point-ish. I would say that's narrative adjacent. <clears throat> good or bad. Yeah. Uh, as Simon, you run past Bartholomew, Bartholomew and you see his eyes dilated <laughs> and he's just putty. <clears throat> uh, Corthan actually will say, your friend needs to calm down. <laughs> oh, he's got a lot of stuff going through his system. <laughs> you hear Nord, perhaps... Ah! Screaming. Okay. On to Leah. You've picked yourself up. Action's on you. Uh, now that I'm out sort of in the hallway, I'll look around and see if there's any kind of fire alarm that I can see nearby. Uh, Nord, roll me a d12, please. Leah, tell me high or low. I am going to say low. Nope. You look around, this place is definitely not up to code. <coughs> uh, uh, so, uh, does... Leah wouldn't have any reason to know where the kitchen is, would she? Yeah, sure, you can look over and see it. Uh, okay. To the right is a storeroom, pretty obvious, the door's open. It looks like there's a couple weird metal tables with covered somethings on them. It almost looks like a morgue to the left you see what is unmistakably a kitchen and on down some sort of weird room the door is green Leah will first go to the kitchen since yep. it makes sense that there would be a fire alarm in the kitchen Yeah, you go into the kitchen look around it's empty you see uh, the burner is on uh, like, you know, big range uh, kitchen. 
several things are boiling over. The burner's on. Uh, you smell kind of like a overcooked smell. Looking around, as per the roll, there's no fire alarm. You do see a fire extinguisher, though. In an, in our typical The Red Writ fashion, <clears throat> the brand of it is Tony. <laughs> um, do I, I should I mean, at the very least, I should see sprinklers, though, in here, yeah. Nope. No. You called no. high or whatever, and so, it was the opposite. It's a very poorly designed uh, uh, setup. It's just not up to code. You can bid to decide something. That's how you change um, the fiction. I will bid. Uh, uh, um, what is that? Uh, I'm going to bid. Um, adaptable. All right for what? Uh, 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 Leah will uh, find grab a broom. Mm -hmm. Since, you know, they they probably want to keep the kitchen pretty well swept. Sure. And, uh, um, she will actually, uh, uh, <laughs> take the end of the broom to the stove and, uh, light the bristles on fire. You do. <clears throat> and, uh, given that she didn't see any sprinklers in here, she'll start walking out into the hallway with the, uh, the, the flaming broom. <laughs> All right, you're walking through the hallway, the flaming broom. Um, as you uh, walk down the hallway with this broom, <laughs> smoke filling the air, you notice, we'll give it one more roll, okay? Uh, Nord, roll me a d12. Leah, call high or low. We'll see if they have any sprinkler system. Say low? Yeah. Damn, really? Nope. Well, that's as good. you're sit as as Leah, you're sitting there like, damn, really? <laughs> really, really? <laughs> this ancient fucking building they did not put in. There ain't nothing. As black smoke, you see your bristles <laughs> burning up. There's a lot of fire. There's like cinders behind you and stuff. Uh Tony, roll a D twelve. I'm sorry, a D six. Tell me if it's a one. No. It's a one! No. Burning down the house. <laughs> Where's the. Uh, Lita. Uh, hold on. Where's. Can I. I'll use. Can I. Can I use the proficiency for this? Normally it would have been a fate roll. Um. Yeah, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uh, use a. I'm going to use a, a, a expression proficiency yep. for that. Reroll that mishap die, please. <laughs> Tony? Was it a one? <coughs> I have rerolled the mishap die, and it is a two. Leah, there is a moment where you're like, oh man, I wonder if this place would go up in, you know, a big, big old fireball like the last place that's still burning. <laughs> You arsonists, you all. Hey, that, that, one, that one at least was not my fault. <laughs> all of you gain a trait right now. It is arsonists. <laughs> you can call it arsonist. You can call it loves fire. Whatever dealing with fire, it's a trait you have. It's not a flaw. I am the fire starter. <laughs> I am the fire starter. Whatever it is you have, you gain that trait because you all have played with fire. Okay. Leah, you're doing this. You hear a clang, 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 clang. Nord, you have entered the office. There are dead bodies everywhere. Roll sanity. Simon. Nord blew past everything. You, however, uh, are going through the rooms and seeing what you, you, you can see. Here is the question. Decision time. Do you bid something 
to power through. I know you 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 had that literally as a trait. Right. Actually, no, you had that as a trait. You don't have to bid. It's a decision for you, because you mm-hmm. literally bid what you needed to. Right. You have the option. Do you see what the creatures did, or uh, do you walk by? Do you just truck by? I'm gonna truck by because right. I know that that literally was kind of our fault. So now caveat: it will incur a sanity roll. However you will also learn something. So it's up to you. Total, total baiting maneuver on the arbiter's part. But you have the option. Here's the thing. Regardless, you're going to get through, but it will incur a sanity roll. I'll I'll look. Like, I won't investigate, but I'll look. You do. You look. You power Mm. through. Roll sanity as you will see something. And here are the stakes. Uh, threshold for threshold for Simon. Normally I'd say this is a four, but honestly you've seen a lot. We're going to say it's a three. Threshold three. It's pretty high. You've hit a lot of things. You are seeing gore and horror. Here's the thing. If you can convince me there's a reason that Simon would be more tough towards this kind of thing. It would be threshold two. Oh, well, he's, I mean, he's, he is a detective, was a detective in Detroit. So he has seen this stuff and the story of Albert Fox, his partner, they were literally. Right. Okay. Sure. Chasing down in the cult. <clears throat> so threshold is two. Here's the thing. The stakes are higher then. If you fail it, you're definitely getting a derangement uh, Uh and a flaw. And uh, we're going to have fun with it. If you succeed, go on. Go ahead. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I got three. So oh, I was good. at limbo and I was fine. talking you into I was talking right. you into a pass instead of limbo. Good, good. So you succeed. Flying colors, awesome. Um, no flaws, no derangements. I did it for Leah. So I'll do it for you. You can heal a derangement as you see this. However, it has to change the way that Simon thinks about something. Because that's what it did for Leah. She literally changed how she thought. That's the healing process. So it's up to it's up to Simon. This this kind of changes your character a little bit. You see this horror. Your your idea for why it's not so bad for him is his partner which is your entire thing, something has to change about that. It's up to you what it is. It could get worse, it could get better. When I say worse, I mean it needs to be like tougher, more directed, more in your control is what it needs to be. Okay, so having seen this, I'm assuming, are they still in their feasting? Dude, or or is are they done? You are seeing a butcher shop of people. You're seeing people that have been turned into kind of spawns who are helping. Uh, the walls are covered. Um, shit's hanging. Yes, all of those pictures. You're seeing things that are defiled in a weird way, a beauty to it. In a way, weird way, a welcoming of it. Almost like they were here as sacrifices for it. Maybe. People doing awful things to each other and all array of enjoyment and disgust and everything. 
Fucking Sodom and Gomorrah is happening in that room. There's a beckoning to come in. Like, it's a thing. This, this stuff is true. Maybe, maybe that means that I can save Albert. Maybe he's out there somewhere and I just need to pull him back. The smell of sulfur, brimstone, as you, maybe you're imagining this, maybe not, plays in your mind. Tony, roll a d4 plus one. That was a four. Total? Just like in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video game, you eat a pizza. <laughs> <clears throat> the good folks at the Detroit RX give you uh, over-the-counter stimulants, bandage you up. It's really not too bad. Uh, they, they do a couple stitches. And you're feeling pretty good as you find yourself at the front of the Blue Note with Mariah. Chester, the uh, doorman, is there. Built what? like a refrigerator, this enormous uh, guy in a suit. Uh, African-American. Um, Bald. He looks like the dude from Mission Impossible. I can't remember his name. That actor. He's been in like everything. He looks down at you. Are you okay? Yes. Yes, I do you am. Bid, do you bid anything? I'm going to bid... I'm actually going to bid... Uh, can I bid two things? No, you don't only want to bid one. Okay. You can bid two if you're activating uh, activating a, an ability. Do I know this guy before? You would have seen him when you guys uh, approached beforehand. But you went down the alleyway. That's... Uh... <clears throat> I say, uh, hey, we uh, we got to go in. So you, you do bid something? Or not? I bid I convinced. That. I see. And I say, we were invited here. Have you ever tried to get into a bar? Covered in blood. <laughs> Not covered in blood. With a so, little girl. Uh, so, uh, yeah, with a little girl. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave this up to your creativity because you have the bid. Why does this work? I say, uh, sir, her mother is in there. All right. And, uh, I know this isn't, this isn't, uh, something you normally deal with, but I'm just going to tell you right now, uh, some people try to do something very bad to her. They're still out there. I fought them off. Look at my wound. We got to get her in here right now and figure out what's going on because otherwise some other people are out there. And let me tell you, if she if she disappears because she couldn't find a safe place here, there's going to be issues. As 
you say this, you bid exactly what you need to do. Exactly what you need to bid. You say exactly what you need to say to this guy. To Chester. As you realize something. First of all, you get a narrative point. Second, you realize something. He knows that something happens in there. And he's not a part of it. This is a job. He's not a part of it. He doesn't like it. As what you say resounds for Chester. And he looks down at her, kind of furrows his brow, looks up at you. This isn't about what goes on in there. It's going to get, it's going to get bad. It's no place for a child, but he looks up at you. I, uh, well, they're out there as well. Oh, I know. As he, from, from, from his, uh, his vest and button up shirt or button down shirt, pulls out this little necklace, this weird talisman that has a blue circle with a, 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 a black dot and a yellow, um, concentric circle in it. Oh, I know. He tucks it back in. What's it's going to get bad everywhere. With the bid that you just did. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> What's that? It's an evil eye. Is what it's called. An evil eye will. How are you giving it? Mariah tugs at your hand. Tony. All right, we got to go. As Chester says, look. Things are going to get bad. And you need to protect this little girl. As he puts like a big bear claw hand on your shoulder. Like his hand, the width of his palm is larger than your shoulder. That's what you're in here for. That's your duty tonight. As he lets you in. We go in. The rest of you. Leah. You hear what you do. Nord, you're in the office. You guys are technically in the same scene. Only a door separates you. But what happens next? Action's on you. Uh, Nord will there definitely... Uh, I think I was, I think I'm heading towards the green room, like in a last hope. What was your sanity roll, by the way? I didn't forget. Oh, you didn't? Uh, no, well, so far I I've didn't. got two successes. No, I didn't. I have two, um, but I could I could get more if I did a reroll. Actually. Threshold is two. No, oh. well, I have two. You go to limbo. I am at limbo. That's it. All right, boom. Going to limbo, you stall for a second, and when you look up. You see 1158. Leah, what about you? You hear it. Uh, Leah, uh, Leah is actually pretty focused right now. She is... Um, Burning broom. She's Yeah, she's heading straight with the broom into the uh, the main dance hall area. You go into the main room, and that's so what we're going to pause do, for you. Well, 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 I will say... Uh, what she what she does is she doesn't actually go in there physically herself. Oh. She'll she'll you know open up the door, toss the broom in, and yell fire. Nice. And uh, what do you bid? Also, uh, no one should ever do this in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually illegal um, to do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If there is no uh, yeah. fire, yeah. Uh, luckily illegal. Luckily, well, this is the red red. Red. <laughs> this is well, and then typically also, 
And there is also technically a fire, so... Um, nah, but, fair. Uh, it's true. I made this. It's very legal to do this if there's a fire. Honestly, <laughs> if there's a fire, uh, I think she's doing the right thing. She did yeah, set fair. the fire, which is illegal. <laughs> yeah. Fair. But we've already got um, arsonists as a trait, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, so so I'm, actually, I'm actually going to bid the new trait, which I didn't label arsonist. I labeled it a fire bug. All right. Yep. As you launch this firebug into the room. Do you close the door or do you leave it open? Uh, close it. As you close the door. Have a <laughs> fiery broom. <laughs> Simon, you're rolling up the stairs. You come up behind Nord, who has stalled. You see a sanity roll in front of you. Threshold is two. Nor do you feel Simon come up behind you. Oh, nice. That's uh, three with a flare. Simon, you come up, you see Nord looking around, his eyes dilated, looking around just so much stimulus as he's staring at the clock. Action's on you two. I'm going to, as I run by him, grab his shoulder. We don't have time. As and you guys, go, I'm going to the green room. As you guys bust through the office door, Nord, you take a right towards the green room with the green door. You both Do I... see Leah standing with a sh with an impish looking grin on her face that she's unaware of. As the door to the main uh, music area goes, boom, 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 and you kind of smell smoke. And see sort of cinders coming down. Uh, Actions on you guys. Would I have seen uh, a breaker box in the office? A breaker box. Yep. Good question. Um, let's make it a fate roll. So uh, we'll say Leah and can can do this fortune or false fortune. And who else hasn't played a whole lot? I'm going to be Fortune. We'll say Hulker. Unmute thyself, Unmuted. and you'll be False Fortune. I am False Fortune. All right, so here are the stakes. Uh, fortune, indeed there is. False Fortune, there is not. Uh, if it's the same, <laughs> there's just not one. It's in another building. <laughs> Thanks about about correct to code in this building. That's right. Are we, are we ready to roll? We be having yeah, a do it. Day. <laughs> Anti code. This place needs to be burned up. <laughs> Spicy. Are you guys roll? What's good? I got a 59. Ah, just barely over 65. Nice. As you look over and in fact see a breaker box. Uh, I'm going to run over and. I'm not gonna throw. I'm gonna throw some of the switches. I'm not gonna throw all of them because uh, Do I don't want it anything? completely dark. Yes, I'm gonna bid. Uh, I'm gonna bid calm because nice. because I walk over. To, I, I head over to the breaker box and as I open it up, normally it's labeled. Mm -hmm. So so I'll look and be like, because I'm trying to shut off the power to the music. Okay. As that's happening, Nord, you round the corner. You see Leah. What are you doing, Nord? Uh, I'm making a break for the green door. Yeah. Green room. You see the green door. You haul ass there. Do you bid anything? You just walk through. What's going on? I will bid uh, smoke and mirrors to try to regain that L.A. music producer vibe that I had before. Yep. Um, and I'm going to race as fast as I can to the door, take a beat and a breath, and then <laughs> open the door. Open it up. <clears throat> Meanwhile, shunk. Tony, you're walking in. It is the entrance of this place. It looks like a, a, a medieval dungeon with sconces on the walls and these, these oil lamps. It's very atmospheric you see out ahead a bar there's all these people around the bar they look like they're wearing 
robes. They're all turned. They're holding candles. No one is behind the bar as it's very, very dark and loud. It's like walking into a club. There's this droning whoa, 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 uh, sound. Uh, it's kind of jazzy with like jazz instruments. Vroom, 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 vroom. Very chanty. And you hear this applause and then a voice starts that is then echoed in chant. What are you doing as Mariah shivers next to you? I look around and see if there's any part of the building that looks like it's either familiar to me or would lead to somewhere that I've been. No, you are in a hallway with a barreled ceiling, kind of like in, it almost looks like a, like a, a monastery. As you walk in, do you go in and there's the bar to the left and then the open air room to the right with the tables, there's a fireplace, or do you stay in the uh, the corridor? I'll stay in the corridor and keep walking with Mariah. Okay, you get to the end. Do you enter the room or not? Or do you look around, or is there something that you're you're affecting with the scene? You'll have I'll to get at... really close to her ear to talk to her to actually hear, because it's so loud. I say, uh, We'll see what's in the next room. We might be able to hide out there. What in the hell are they doing? She says, whispering it at your ear. Boom, 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 boom. I think they like to read. What? As you look in, Tony, you see all these tables and all these cloaked people. They're in red and orange. Uh, I close the door. There's no door. You're in a fucking hallway. Oh, to a bar. There's the bar. They're all there holding the candles. They're at the tables. They're doing the thing. And you know what? Do you bid anything to not be seen? Yeah, I'll bid local. As one person looks over, sees you, knows who you are, and kind of goes, oh, and then looks back. <laughs> Just doesn't seem to notice what's going on. Assuming you should be there. Simon? Yep. So I... Uh, throwing breakers. I'm going to throw like... Like I said, it's calm. So there should be one that says like... Music or soundstage or whatever. I'm going to throw it and I'll probably throw... I'm not going to kill all the lights, but I want to kill some of the lights so then that way it's i don't want it to be completely dark leah you're standing there at the doorway all this is happening what do you do you hear simon uh, walk over and start chunk chunk and i see like is there any window into the hall oh uh, you're in the hallway if you open or, the door sorry, you'll into see the, into, the main... into the main dance floor no okay well, then I will go ahead and sort of, um, you know, crack open the door a little bit into the into the room. I want to see if my if my tactic was effective at all. World action. <clears throat> the broom is on the floor next to the wood pile next to the hearth. Catching fire. <laughs> Two or three of these robed figures are trying to put it out. You can't hear what they're saying because there's this music that just blasts you and like is beating. It's so loud. It's like you can feel it in your chest. You look over, you see Tony and your daughter across the room <laughs> in the entrance as Mariah's going... <gasps> Like this. Everyone in here is cloaked. You see, since you actually have the, the vantage point, kind of the corner of the stage, and this red liquid is pouring off of it. You can't see what's on the stage. Something is there. All these people have these candles. As a few of them turn and see you. There's the fire. Most of the people are not paying attention to it, but a few of them are attacking it. 
when the lights turn off and all there is is the firelight and like some light behind the bar. As the lights, just like when you're flipping breakers, like some lights come on outside, come on inside, as Simon goes through them. Nord, you pop through the green room. Fate roll. Is Levi in the green room or on the stage? Who's fortune? Uh, who's false fortune? I I would I, I was know. thinking about that and and um just just to say like I would love to spend a narrative point to say like what band actually starts on time? Like you've been to a million shows. There's the like they're always 15 minutes late. I mean that's a thing, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So we already said for, fortune falls fortune. We'll modify it then. It Levi maybe not is, 15 minutes, but but you know, a few minutes late. It's always a few. Levi minutes. is in here. She's in here. The question is fortune or false fortune? You bid. Fortune or false fortune is this. Does she buy it or not? As in, is the situation, does she even have a manager? Uh, does she buy it or not? You had bid to be this this sort of a charlatan kind of guy. Yeah, that's it. Is she immediately hostile towards you or is she accepting of you? That's the fortune, false fortune. She is in here. So who wants to be fortune? Who wants to be false fortune? I'll be false fortune this time. All right, who's fortune? I'll do fortune. Roll it. Mm. 40 25 okay. as you walk in Nord you see the <clears throat> the mirrors with the lights you know the bulbs there's several people in here and there's a woman she looks like the actress from High Fidelity who is the singer African American uh, late 20s absolutely gorgeous uh dark hair coming down her back she's in um this colorful uh but at the same time jazzy sort of top and uh and jeans with like platform shoes maybe it has like a big v-neck kind of like disco style and she happens to turn and she smiles at you. You notice she has uh, very green eyes. Hi. Oh, hello. Uh, it's good. I've heard so much about you. Oh, I come in, come in. So uh, looking forward to your show tonight. Uh, how's it going out there? It's going. I mean, She's everybody's ready. It seems like they're they're kind of dressed and ready, and you know they're pre prepping for this uh, show. I I have been uh, hearing about you left and right from people around this city. Uh, just flew in from L.A. Uh, I work with the Fort Fortean uh, 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 Inquirer, uh, and and we we have a, a CD division, and I would love to make a demo with you. I you think you have a, uh, a CD. Is that going to be a thing? I mean, a record. I, I've been I, told that a lot. A vinyl, I just don't a, know. If, <laughs> I just don't know if I want to do those. CD I guess it's things. not really a thing. Com it, well, it's a compact disc, like a tape cassette kind of thing. Uh huh. It, it's just like a smaller. You see her fixing her, her makeup. Yeah, no, smaller format, but like we're 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 developing some some new. They call it digital. I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but it's crazy. No. Um, it's like computer. Have a seat. Have a seat. Do you want a drink? As you see, oh, she's got a chartreuse, oh. a, a green chartreuse bottle, and she and has we, little shots around. The band already took a few. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's, uh, yeah. Hook me up, thanks. And hands you a little uh, of chartreuse. But I have like been, a niece. Sure, I've been told from from the views that you've got that I could, like, I can sign you on the spot. 
Like, so if you are ready. Now listen, honey, 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 honey. I don't do any business before I play. Oh, well, certainly. But if you got I mean, the forms, I'll look them over. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, they're, well, I mean, they're in the car, but I'll, I'll bring them in after. I mean, I want to hear you play. So that's, that's definitely. Well, that's a, good. That's good. Have, have, I mean, are you interested in. Oh, yeah. Do you want to take this act national? I, mean, I would like to take this act. She puts up her hand. I'd like to take this act to the world. Her eyes well, kind of gleam green. On the, in the office. Actions on you all. Anybody spend cunning? Is it cunning me or? I Everybody. Spend, I was spend cunning. I'll spend cunning, cunning. cunning then, yeah. All right. I'll also spend cunning. As the antagonist, uh, Tony, what about you? No. <laughs> As the antagonists are doing something, you're not really sure what yet. Uh, what do you all do? Actions on you. So have I not found the to turn off you the tur sound system? You turn off the sound system. <laughs> However, you still hear the acoustic instruments. It's not okay. nearly as loud and droning, though. Like it, okay. That's what I was... Okay. Yeah, everyone hears <clears> that. <throat> yeah. Uh, There's some murmuring in the crowd. Leah, you hear people kind of look and see them kind of looking around at all the lights going out and the fire. Okay. So I will come out and I'll be like, uh, Leah, did have you set the... Could you not find the fire alarm? Leah there has isn't the door one open. In this stupid place. Laura, Laura. Yeah, I'll actually, Leah has uh, the door I'll, open. I'll, I'll... Go on. Uh, Leah will actually turn around and like close the door. You know, when when she hears Simon, um, call out to her, and say, "No, no, there wasn't any freaking fire alarm in this hazardous place." So I had to improvise, I guess. Well, it's, it's still not, not stopping them. Uh, maybe if we shoot a shot or two off into the ground, maybe that will cause them to stop. Uh, did Leah remember seeing anything like hanging above the stage? Uh, like what? I don't know, like a <laughs> like well, a you disco would have, ball or something, or, or lights, or yeah, or lights, you'd have or, stage or even lights and that sort of. Yeah, anything. So there's stage lights. What else do you want up there? I don't know. Let's say a disco ball just for, for dramatic Yeah, it's a disco ball. Okay. So Leah going to le use her prodigious memory and expert marksman skills to, uh, <laughs> to, open, up, to open up the uh, the door again and uh, um, take her pistol So you have to move in to get an, get an angle. Okay, that's fine. I'll do that. People will be distracted the, by the could... fire temporarily. All right, as you, you move Hopefully. in, spin around, pull out your gun, throw down. Uh, Simon, you obviously hey. see this. Uh, Tony, well, I'm you gonna see, first bid. Um... You see Leah come in, spin around, and shoot at the stage. <laughs> Nord, you hear Batman. I'm a. Uh... I'm going to go to the door and go through as well and kind of you do. get her back in case people start to rush her. Uh, uh, so for the action, I'm bidding per, uh, no, for the, for the action, I'm bidding adaptable. Yep. And then I'm using, and I'm also bidding precise to activate mastered arms to give me an automatic two successes. Yep. And then I, I think you just muted. Yeah, Piper must be doing something bad. <laughs> the Piper. Yeah, Piper's getting to uh, something that they shouldn't. No, Mom was just asking where she was. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, uh, so um, anyway, I uh, I got one success on the dice. I uh, is that how? What was what's the threshold? Threshold is two. Okay, then I'm good. So you're at three. 
as you spin around, you notice Simon right behind you. Bam! You're shooting down the disco ball, yeah? As you see the disco ball fall, it's a big disco ball. This is just out of the 70s. And now you see what's on stage. The both of you. Tony. In Nord, I'm going to get to you, but Tony's got to go pretty soon. <clears throat> Tony, what are you doing? You have not spent cunning, but you start seeing this stuff. I, uh... I reach for my gun. As you pull out your gun, Nord, you hear BAM! Another gun blast. Levi looking at you with the sparkly green eyes. She's enchanting. Enchantingly beautiful. I want to give this to the world, baby. I feel like my music could help everybody. There's so much pain and suffering. For so long, the wrong people have been in power. And it's time to hear a good message. Bang! She doesn't seem to notice at all. What do you do? I am going to bid a uh, sleight of hand and uh, give her a little dose of forget me not. How are you gonna do it? I'm gonna use use a trick that I that I used from my last. Uh, let Let me take a picture real quick. Oh my God, you are stunningly beautiful. And I pull up my camera, and I flash, uh, and and I just like give me, give me a shot. This is gonna be. Uh, this will be the, the money. It's gonna be money. Money, baby, money. As um, you know. She's a performer, and normally I'd make you throw down, but it's the perfect bid. You do it. As how do you dose her with this stuff? I, um, well, I dose her drink. We shoot people and we, we drug people. <laughs> yeah. I, I give her, I give her, I, do, I, like, she does, she, she has a drink, right? Like, oh, she yeah. poured me a drink. And, yep. and I dose her, I, I, flash and and while oh, i'm flashing kinda i kind of like use my other hand to to put a little dose of of uh forget me uh not into her drink there there are jokes i won't make and, them we're and already then, and then I'm like, the i think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship <laughs> you are beautiful cheers my love all right as she cheers as you. Uh, you notice, I just have to do it, you notice a half-eaten plate of green lime jello. That's all I'm going to do about this. So, I'm hilarious. I'm hilarious. I, I, I gifted, I, I, I redeemed hydrate on the oh. witch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so Tony, because I know you got to go in three minutes. Uh, what do you got? We got to go a little bit out of rounds so that you, you can do something. You have your gun out. What do you do? <clears throat> I I I say, uh, Mariah, stay close. Yeah, no joke. Yeah. We're going to try and walk over to uh, meet up with Leia. Her name is Leah. My mom. <sighs> I said, she yeah. like hits your arm. Okay, what do you bid to get through this crowd? There is a lot of distraction. You can do this. What do you bid to take Mariah to Leah? I bid... <clears throat> I've been wanderer. Mercenary. Huh? How does it apply? I've been I've been hired in effect to uh to keep Mariah safe. 
as you quickly but casually bump shoulders with and pull Mariah behind you, keeping her close until Leah and Simon, you see Tony appear bandaged with Mariah looking up like, "Ah!" just as Leah, you have shot. Both of you have seen what is on stage, which we will get to in a moment. I know we're kind of going on out of sync here, but this is just for Tony. At this point, has anyone gotten a goal? Yes. Update it, uh, Tony. What was the goal? Meet Levi. That's Simon. Uh, my name is Nord. <laughs> yeah, I said meet <laughs> Levi. Still... Yeah, meet Le- Levi. No, you said plane, yeah. You said okay, Tony. Then I called myself Tony. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, my bad. No, you called me Tony and I called oh, did? Well, Simon. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't hear I any of that. Yeah. Point is, we're at 24, right? Yeah, we just hit 24. All right. Everybody say bye, Tony. Bye, Tony. Bye. Bye, Tony. I'll see you Thursday, sir. You next yep. time. Bye. You see on stage a diorama of something that seems sacred and yet profane. There is a woman. She's not crucified per se in like the standard Abrahamic fashion or Roman fashion, but she's, she's on like this stump tied up hands above her head and she's been impaled blood pouring out. She is probably dead. It's hard to tell tongue out eyes bugged out. She's impaled with this weird harpoon, something from the the wharf. Around, with all the blood and such, there's this, these carcasses of animals. And there are dogs eating the food or eating the the meat. The smell of, of copper and blood and... A, a, a butcher shop but it's warm in here and all these people singing sort of thrumming in their throats to it with the fire and the, the low light as this disco ball falls and explodes almost like in slow motion scattering glitter and light in all directions people turn There's some musicians off in kind of the shadows playing, uh, their heads wagging as they're just into it. They all look up. <gasps> you hear Burr! of the bows against the strings. And all eyes are on you all. The shot is rung out. Mariah looks up. Tony has a gun. Simon, you, and Leah are almost back to back like a Charlie's Angels poster. The antagonists go. Did we not you go oh, around? We turning. Yeah, we did. I'm right. Yeah, it is their turn. You're right. Good job, Arbiter. Oh. There's a fire! Yeah, the first words you hear. <gasps> About a third of the people, scared by the words fire and in a confined space filled with people to the brim, react the way that people do. And there's a scuffle. You can see it and hear it and feel it. In your human souls. Get them! Oh, it's them! You hear as people start to mob you. Here's how we're going to deal with this. As you all do what you do, there is a threshold to be hurt real bad. Whether it's by being stampeded or whether it's by being ripped from limb to limb. So, how do you two do what you do and avoid that? Go. Um, 
Well, Leah, I mean, like, we're pretty, still pretty close to the door, yeah. Yeah, you're like 10 feet from it. So, Leah, seeing the, the quick um, turn of the crowd, will immediately, you know, you know, yell to, or not yell, but like say to, you know, Simon and Tony, the door, get by, get, um, get through the doors. We can make a choke hold, choke, choke point. Yeah. And she'll, she'll head that way. It's up to you guys. Go on. Tony, get Mariah through first. And then, uh, you hear Tony go, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and so, as soon as he, like, I, I assume I'm going to stand shoulder to shoulder with Leah to form a, a blockade until Tony and Mariah get through, and then have... What do you guys bid? I'm going to bid... I'm going to bid Brute. <clears throat> we'll say one of you bid, one of you aid. No, uh, aid was steadfast. All right, okay. what aspect do you give him? I'll give him my grace. All right. Which is a D8. You get a die eight. Extra die. Nord, you hear a commotion. As the mob pushes forward. It's like at Thermopylae. As you guys are at the hot gates, pushed immediately back into the door, against the door, Leah, as you're attempting to brace against this mob, scratching and pulling uh, your clothes are starting to get ripped off scratches on your body they're throwing beer bottles maybe some shards of glass cut uh, cut your face or um, sprinkle your uh, against your eyelids it is getting violent it's going from zero to medieval very very quickly threshold for this <sighs> Five. Uh, I am going to also pull out my slapjack. We're going to say four. Going on. It's four okay. because the broom, there is a fire. We're going to drop yep. the threshold. Four. You know what? Disco ball. Threshold three. Okay. One, Tony will be out front, Jack. in front with Mariah. Goes through the door first. Leah, you see that Mariah is safe for now on in the hallway. This music brought to you by the Red Red. You said I saw that there was a uh, a fire extinguisher, you know, pretty close to the door, right? No, it was in the uh, the kitchen. It was in the kitchen, right? I remember now. Okay, so I only have two successes. And that's. I did two proficiencies and I bid my slapjack twice. <laughs> Plus with Leo, okay. I only got two successes. Can I aid with an ability? No. Uh, the aid Dang. action only gives an aspect. You could aid with a different aspect that you give up. Um... So that'd be like a separate bid. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will um, bid time served to aid with mind, which is also a D eight. All right. With a D eight, you can. Uh, how how do you how do you actually aid him in this with mind? What are you doing that's that's mind involved? So tell it to Simon. Oh, let me think. Um. Mm -hmm. Lock your arms with me. We might be we, should, we might be able to hold them off better. As you lock arms, go ahead and roll. Okay, so that puts me at three successes. So that is. All right, Limbo. 
as you guys are pushed back against the door, locked arms, you're able to actually hold them off for a second, the first wave, as they sort of bounce off of you, but you're you're pushed into the door jam, both of you, as you both will take half the damage that was dealt, which is five. five you're going to get mobbed with ten. Okay. So you take five. As if you've ever been stuck in a door jam with someone, it sucks. You're almost crushed as they push off of you. Actions on you guys, player turn. Okay. Uh, we're going to do uh, you two, then we'll head up Nord. I'm going to reach for the the door and make sure, make sure Leah gets through before I go through the door and try and close it. Okay. Leah? Um, as Leah is, uh, um, as Leah is, you know, going through the door after, after Simon pushed her through, uh, um, before she goes all the way through the door, she'll actually, uh, get her vial of nightshade out and just, like, dump all of it into her hand and just sort of blow it into the crowd to just try and get, like, a diluted effect from hit. What do you bid? Uh, Poisoner. Yep, sounds good. Uh, roll a chaos die. And okay. I will bid evasive to do mine. Yep, excellent. The chaos die was a two. All right, you do not accidentally slap Simon in the face with a bunch of nightshade. <laughs> As you launch it over him, Simon, you do the evasive, moving through... You see the, the, the purple dust <coughs> coughing. The fire erupts from maybe the nightshade. Who knows? Yelling, angry voices, and then screams as the door shuts. You guys are in the hallway. Nord, Levi, takes a drink, looks at you. Well, honey, uh... Sounds like, as you hear, the, 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 the din of humanity. Well, what's going on out there? I, you know, I, I don't think it really matters. Uh, we're here. We're having a good time. It's just you and me. I, I, I and, and, you know, the other folks in the green room. We're, we're talking, I, I know we're talking business, but I want to be your friend. I think it's important. Like, your music affects people. People love you for it. So, really, it doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks or does. It's really what you do. And people love you. Get, um, let me take another photo. What do you, like, what just, do you bid? You're, you're shining. What do you, what do you bid? And what are you trying to get? What are you trying to accomplish? I am trying to get her like me. So I'm going to bid yellow journalism, a, aka Redcon, uh, oh. to keep to keep the story, to keep her in the story. Like they fans, they always start a little bit late. It's it's okay. We're we're good tonight. You're gonna nail this. I know you. You always do. People love you. Uh, we'll have you throw down against the calamity going on outside. Uh, we'll say it's a threshold two because you've buttered her up quite a bit and she's only a little bit narcissistic. Um, I'm going to use a fabrication reroll. That Leah, what are you doing? <laughs> That is going I all over social media. Myself, I'm keeping myself entertained is what I'm doing. That is going I'm all over my social mind media. <laughs> we're, we're is, about uh, to this is the last thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's always, I, I, I am in limbo, which is an exciting thing uh -huh. to me. Um, uh, I, I'm just, why don't we have another drink? Um, I'm sure all that stuff will calm down. And as I pour a drink. 
With Limbo, you pour a drink. She takes it, stands up, walks close to you. She seems a little drunk. Maybe she's been drinking the chartreuse a little bit. As she clinks, you see her eyes kind of dilated a little bit. You know the forget-me lot is starting to work on her as she clinks glasses with you and takes the shot. She gets close to you, Nord. I like you. What'd you say your name is? Is again? It's a good question. Um, <laughs> Mark uh, Worthington. Mark what? <laughs> Mark Worthington. I'm Worthington. a flyer. It's world worldwide. Uh, Worthington. I can take your music around the world. I. Everybody needs to hear your story. They need. She to smiles. It kind of sheepishly turns around to pour another drink for you both. She, yeah. without looking, grabs for your, your glass. Do you hand it to her? Oh yeah, absolutely. And as she pours, she sings. Hey, Nord. Mind, throw down. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you. Please. I like you. That's, that's, Bit about a baboo. that's four successes with flair. How are you doing? Now? <sighs> hey, Leah, roll me a d12. Hey, Simon, roll me a d10. A three. So Is no that successes, successes or a number no, three? No successes. That was number three for me as well. All right. Uh, how many successes did you get, Nord? Four. Threshold is four. Bodef is four. As you're at Limbo, you feel the siren's song. Can I bid my flaw? Uh, we've already... The, the bidding the flaw wouldn't do anything. You'd oh. have to do an extra die or proficiencies or an ability. Well, there's. I can't get any more than what I got proficiency wise. Yeah, so you're fucked. Unless you've got extra dice and. Or you do something truly zany and get a chaos die. Um, you could. I am going to. Um, bid. Simon, you can help me. I'm going to bid sneak. Oh. Can I bid sneak? You don't need to bid. Oh, I don't need to bid. You I need to can I can I take people. whatever drugs I have left and just shove it in her mouth? I don't know how much drugs you have because you've already used the bump. There's been fewer two or three times now you've been like, I use the rest of this. I don't know Can't if you, you have any more. Why don't you bid your camera for an extra die? Uh so I could bid my camera, camera for an extra die. Why don't I bid my camera? Just do All a right. flash. I'll just flash into her face. She's turned away from you. Uh I'll stick my camera right in front of her face and I'll and I'll just let the <laughs> flash go. Right, do it. It's an old selfie. It. Hey, what's up? We'll do a selfie. Do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do, do a it. selfie with it. Uh, hey, you that, get up close and bam. That is a that is something I'm gonna use a fabrication uh to re-roll that uh okay. nonsense. And then I'm definitely going to use um some learning because I apparently am so fucked up that I hit near the flash button, but you I can't. Can, I can't you have to like wind the film. <laughs> so I gotta wind the thing. I gotta charge <laughs> it for a second, and then and then I finally uh, got a, another success. So it's five success. As she starts singing, eyes like mine, such and such. Oh, god damn it! As she yells and grasps her eyes and runs over to the corner yelling. She like kicks a trash can, spills some drinks and such. I'm going to grab her arm and, and, and try to keep hold her. Hey, get her. off me! As she can't see you, she's like blinking. She tries to throw your hand off you. Get off me! She oh, says. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is As you throw she, down I the full Cosby. So in the hallway... I know, I can't help myself. I mean, come on. In the hallway, Leah 
Simon. <laughs> do you turn the other way? Or do you help? What do you guys do? Uh, help. Is there a way to... To... Lock, like, to barricade the door? Uh... Yes, there's a lock, um, a little door lock. Beyond that, to barricade, there's some stuff in the storeroom. It's one of those uh, flapper office. doors, right? Huh? It's one of those flapper doors. Yep, it has a it has a door okay. on it, but it could go both ways. Oh uh, well, first off, I'm gonna lock the door, and be like, "This will only buy us." Lock, you do it. This will only buy us a few seconds here. That. Alleyways back that way. Through the kitchen. Leah will um, kick off her shoes and actually shove them underneath the door jam. To basically, because most people, particularly the the crowd Whoever. coming in the way, they're going to come. Their initial, their initial, you know, reaction is going to be pushed on the door. To do this. Uh, I will bid. Oh. Uh, Let's bid steadfast for this one. Yeah. As it turns out, you were wearing non-slip shoes. As <laughs> you put on there. And uh, Mariah goes, that's a good idea. Tony goes, yeah, that's right. Let's go. I'm going to yell, no, we've got to get out of here. As you're starting to run forward down the hallway, you hear a woman. Get off me. Get, get off me. Who are you anyway? Get off me. From... The room where the green door is. Help! You where hear is... Nord's voice. No, 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 calm down, <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Nord, what are you saying? What did they hear you saying? Uh, they, I might not be saying anything. At this point, I am I might be attacking her. Just, just grunting? <laughs> I... I I'm gonna be treating her like a uh, trigger uh, warning. White girl wasted, and be like, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, I, I think you might have had too much to drink. And then if she, if she turns away from me, I might knock her out. <laughs> there, there are band members in here with you. <laughs> no, no, there aren't. Oh, I thought no. there were. I thought. I think I maybe have, I may have described it, but then I forgot about it, so they're not there. <laughs> Oh, okay. I might knock. I, I might just knock her out. I might knock her out, and and because I want her to come with me, I want to take her away from this <laughs> I place. You do. That's, All right. That sounds so bad, Mark. That really <laughs> sounds so bad the, right the now. Fucking, the fucking full Cosby, baby. I'm All going right. full Cosby. So, <laughs> North's been going full Cosby in here for a while. He'll only flash this and fucking toast your drink. <laughs> You're the best, girl. I'm gonna make you a star. Yeah. So, no, Leah, yeah. <clears throat> Leah and Simon, I need to know what you're doing. You hear the full Cosby going on behind the green door. Is the green door in between us and the exit, or is it the opposite yeah. way? Yeah, so the green door is straight ahead. Okay. Uh, to the right is the stow room. To the left before... So, so the green door is at the end of the hallway. Okay. To the left before that is the kitchen, which leads out. To the right is the storeroom where it looks like there might be bodies. Okay. I thought it was the opposite, so that's my no. bad. Um, as we run by... Uh, oh, because we won't be running by it. Um, as we're running towards the exit, I guess I will run over to the green door, throw it open real quick, and just be like, Nord, we gotta you go. See and then Nord manhandling this jazz singer. Help! She says, her eyes kind of going wild. Nord, we've got to get out of here. Well, I think we've stopped it outside, but they're coming after us. Sure. Action's on Look, you guys. What do you do? We need to take her with us. I mean, whatever can happen, like, whatever will happen, will happen with her. Uh, we should take her with us. Well, then that's your... <laughs> Help me! <laughs> he turns. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> Leah, I gotta you cost see me this. I gotta all of this. Me. Mariah's like, she, and Mariah goes, Mommy, what is he doing to that woman? <laughs> Leah, Leah will look, will look, uh, Leah will look her up and down 
and and look Nord straight in the face and say, Nord, you're thinking with your dick. Stop. I am not <laughs> thinking with my dick. I, I, this, this is an attack on Lady Callie. This, if she sings, this, it's the end. If she can't sing, Tony points his gun at her. I can do no. with this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt her. She's been that. drugged. She's knocked <laughs> out. She's not gonna remember this. She screams. Ah! She's not gonna remember this. She's fine. We're fine. She thinks. Leah gonna... will ah! actually. Leah will actually walk straight up to her, and uh, and grab her grab her face, and like <laughs> point her head at her. You do. Do you know anything about Lady Callie? <laughs> She's like. Yes. W what do you want to do? What's she planning to do after the end of this show? Are we shooting her? No. Not yet. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Mariah slaps Tony. The door to the here. outside burst. We'll, we'll interview her later. Let's get out Shoes of here. Shoes go everywhere. No, we're out. Let's out of 5K. All I right, we all did. Door. I tried. We let's. It's time for a good old kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> all right, actions on you all. I'm gonna. Uh, bid, how do you get out of here? Vanish, uh, which is a trait that I have. Uh, I'm gonna use the surprise and, and vanish part, not the kill. Uh, but uh, to to like kind of kind of like pull her back and drag her start dragging her to towards all right you drag her by the uh by the arms uh she's i've been kicking. i've been strong so i'm going to in the hallway be here past the kitchen door so that way they can get out behind me before i go and in case whatever comes through i can try and hold them off uh i bid cloak and dagger to very you know expertly uh you know take her out of the room and um yeah and keep her under control. So, Nord's got her her arms. Do you got her feet? No, I don't have her feet. I just kind of have her um, got her arms. Uh, I'm grabbing. I'm basically dragging her by the front of her shirt, basically, essentially. All right. So, Norm, Norm, Nord, you got her <laughs> arms, dragging her. Leah's dragging her. Her her her, her clothes are ripping, and she's like, ah! <laughs> screaming as you guys are dragging this woman out. <laughs> and Simon, they move past her. She's like, help! <laughs> as you see her dragged out through the kitchen and into the alleyway. Mariah comes in behind. She's like, what are we doing? <laughs> and she runs by. Tony, who <laughs> looks around awkwardly and moves through. Um, Simon, you see... The people are trying to pile out, but there's so many of them, they're getting in the way of each other. Yeah. And you can see a stampede. Several people are like trying to get out. It's a horror scene. Uh, there's smoke billowing out, screaming, people running out the front, probably windows breaking, uh, all hell's breaking loose as everyone's out but you. Do you leave? Yeah, once the, once of my party get behind me through the kitchen i will then go through the kitchen as well we go into a montage how do you guys because they're not after you there's a stampede going out in front the building is slowly getting on fire through panic at the disco uh d -d 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 yeah how do you guys get to where you're going also you have a screaming woman with you montage what do you do if you're gonna take a gagger. Uh yeah, I'll gagger. Um I I'll gagger and I'll You don't need a bit because we're in the montage. Oh you yeah. Gagger. I don't need I don't need a bit. All right. You, you guys are manhandling, I... so you gagged, she's drugged. Yeah. She's woo I'm pull, How do you I'm guys get out of here? Is is to to the back door. I presume through the back door. Oh, or through the back door. Like, is there a you're back door? <laughs> like, you're in the alleyway. You are in the alleyway. Oi, <laughs> okay. you're in the alleyway. It's all uh, done. Wait, no. Okay, let's, actually, car. let's get out of here. No, no, no. Was there was there a delivery truck for the uh, for the for the bar? There was one. Leah back there. will actually, Leah will actually, um, you know, go go to the front and check, like go to the driver's door and check and see if the keys are happen to be in the ignition. They are. 
We're in the montage. Absolutely, you can lift this thing. Let's throw it Guys, in the back. let's take this. They won't, they already know how our car is. We need we need a we need a uh, less conspicuous vehicle. I'm all in if we're gonna kidnap, let's kidnap. <laughs> she is struggling hard. Even though it, it, even though she doesn't realize uh, that even though she's been drugged, I guess she, it's not taking, Yeah, she's just uh, she, in fact she's struggling even worse because she doesn't know where she is. Yeah, okay. You too. Um, I, no bidding. This is all montage. I'm gonna I'm gonna say we're we're rescuing you. That there's a mob in the in the in the ah! room. Like I don't know why there was she a mob. She is screaming at the top of her lungs. Ah! We're You're accomplishing the goal. Let's just want to know how do you do it. We're saving you from <laughs> from from from. She doesn't believe you. All the people. Okay, so where we end. You are in the back of a meat truck. Meat with truck. With Levi, <laughs> who's gagged. <laughs> Uh, kicking and screaming. You're kind of like on top of her. Leah is too. Simon, you're uh, in. Me and Mariah, needs to drive me us and out Mariah of will get into the front. Yep. That way it will keep Mariah As away from that. you start that, that bitch up and, and you start driving it. Yep. I'll, I'll back guys, it out. And... As you guys pull out the alleyway, you hear gong, gong, gong as Mariah, you and Nord are sitting on Levi. She's struggling, gag. Ah! You hear muffled. As you pull out, which way do you go? Uh, I'm gonna head back to where our, just right now toward our where our van's parked. Or where That's our... across the street. Uh oh, it's across the uh, street, uh, about a block away. Yeah. Uh. You see a mob of people running out into the streets. Some of them are on fire, rolling around on the ground. There's a oh. mass of different uh, vehicles that are picking people up and driving off. Boom, 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 boom. All the then, same direction towards Bell Island. Gonna, then I'm going to head towards Bell Island as well. As the meat truck. King, 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 king. Ah! 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 Last scene, Mariah turns to you. She closes the little shunk. Turns to you, Simon. Um, are we the bad guys? And that's where we're going to end. Well. Well done. Uh, you guys, uh, any any further goals? I did get one that said, you know, the stop the music minor goal. Uh, did you say that before? Uh, technically, when, I, when, we, when you asked us before, I hadn't technically stopped the music, so no. <laughs> Okay. I, I, so, I got leave leave the club. Uh, okay. I, it was it was what I wrote down when, uh, but I I think that um, no, it's great, it's great because you didn't know that was going to happen, so yeah. you you accomplished that. <clears throat> okay, you guys are at twenty six party goals. If you got a goal, if it's a minor goal, remember that's one XP. You return one cunning, one breath, and you get a pip. No, we just hit party goal which means everyone advances did so we, we just go on um did we technically stop the ritual you stopped that ritual yes okay so yeah. then that means i got my major goal did i right. defeat lady uh callie by no. stopping the ritual okay no you did that not. Was not that that was not a thing that that affected. however it was however no, it's defeat like i was like she if this was a plan that she had made and it stopped her plan i guess defeat lady kelly's plan like make a win against her because i know that we cannot beat her necessarily but and and i said this no, in i'll give you that i'll give you that in that it regard was, yes was, you did yes you it did was, it was little little me yeah. it was baby steps is basically yeah, what you I got was. that you got that right um, so, if you got a major goal, who got a major goal? I did. I did. Okay, what that means is you return all of your cunning and breath. Unless it's burnt, then it's gone. Uh, you get a pip. You get two XP. And everyone gets a pip, which means since you both got 
major goals, everyone gets two pips. Ooh. Damn. So did you, what do you get for major goal again? <laughs> All right. One more time. So what has happened is this. You got your minor goals. Deal with that first. Mm -hmm. What is a minor goal? A minor goal gives you one XP, mm -hmm. one pip. You return one cunning, one breath, which does not matter for you because you got a, a major goal. Sure. A major goal, the exact same thing, except all cunning, all breath returned. You get two XP and everyone gets a pip. So the idea is that because both of you got major goals, everyone gets two pips. And if you did a minor goal on top of that, you got another pip. And because you hit the party advancement, everyone advances as well. So and that's, that's why it. it all moves forward. Uh, you should be at 28 right now. Right, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I got. So yeah, good. double check and make sure. Double check. All right. And you kidnapped a jazz singer. Oh, my God. Epic. <laughs> Epic. All right. <laughs> Epic. Thank you guys for rolling <laughs> out. Words. 11 o'clock, 11.05. Sorry I was late. I'm going to blame God. Traffic. LA traffic. Yep. Um, so we're not doing. How, how did you even make it with with LA traffic? Like, so uh, I started early. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and I got lucky. I actually got lucky that that it wasn't later. Uh, so we're not doing after hours tonight. We're doing it on Thursdays now. For anyone who wants to know, YouTube, Thursdays Facebook. at Thursdays at seven p.m. Eastern Standard on YouTube and technically Facebook. Uh, our channel Dread Lore. Uh, we'll be doing geeky gamer podcast stuff. If you want to be on there, awesome. Uh, if you know someone who's interested in talking about geeky gamer stuff, even if you're just mildly interested, let us know. We would love to hear from you. All right, everybody say thanks. Thank thanks. you. Thanks, guys. Okay. Everybody bye. say bye. 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 Thanks, time. Thanks we've Cloudfire. Been, uh, we've been uh, playing a game called the Red Red. Uh, the Red Red. Which, which is in the world Red of Dreadlord. Uh, thanks, Dreadlord. Bill, Andrea, Daniel, Drizzle, and Ken. Uh, score by all. All lowercase letters and Mr. Interrupt. Uh, thank you to our Patreon members, Tim Roberts, Daniel Hulker, and Nostalgic. Uh, another thank you to Couchfire Media for art and media. And none of this could be possible without the support from, or and the creativity, and the amazing magic, uh, and the brilliant mind, and all of the above from Twa Productions. Uh, please... Uh, join us for all our future podcasts uh, and good night everybody thanks Twari good night good night everybody <laughs> indeed bye guys bye.